Good morning and welcome to the Morning Coffee with Jean Plassard. Today I'm focusing on holidays. European officials are battling to save the summer holiday season and kickstart a tourism industry that, is, that has been paralyzed by the ongoing pandemic. Tourism accounts for approximately 10% of European economic output and supports millions of jobs. European members are now moving towards a phased reopening of border when it's safe to do so with Germany and Austria agreeing to open their frontier with random check until mid-June when the free movement when free movement will be resumed. The situation is causing a headache for people hoping to travel abroad this year, but in some countries that might actually not prove too much of a problem. According to Eurostat, many holiday makers across Europe, uh, Europe rarely leave their home country uh, anyway. In 2017, just over 90% of all trips in Spain and 87% of all trips in France were domestic. Some people do need to get away anyway. Uh, in Belgium, it's different. It's a different story, with 80% of trip happening abroad due to its geographic uh, positioning, boarding France, Luxembourg, Germany, and the Netherlands. Belgium can easily Belgium can easily travel to a whole host of other countries for holiday or business with little, very little effort. Brussels also enjoy a high-speed rail connection with London via Channel Tunnel, uh, making a quick escape to the UK another, another easy option for Belgium planning a holiday getaway. According to the latest data of the John Hopkins University, Belgium has the most COVID-19 deaths per 100,000 inhabitants in any country as of May 14th. So this holiday season will be crucial for the European economy and has to be uh, monitored very closely. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Read my morning and keep on winning.